Minister of Human Services and Social Security Dr. Vindia Pasad on Wednesday led a team comprising of several key agencies and school children on a walk which commenced in front of the Parliament building to the Ministry of Labour Breakdown Office to mark World Day Against Child Labour. Every year, World Day Against Child Labour is observed on June 12th. This year, team is Let's Act on Our Commitments and Child Labour. Over the years, Dr. Passat said, Ghana has acted through the enactment of multiple pieces of legislation to eradicate child labour. However, to deal holistically with the issue, she said it must be recognised at every level. Child labour, as was mentioned, should not be confused at all with chores. It is important for people who have business entities people who have commercial ventures to know that they should not be employing children. It is as straight as that. They should not be employing children and they should not be exploiting children, nor should children be involved in excessive or hard work. We need to ensure that we have a robust reporting system so that people, wherever they are across the country, they can have the opportunity to not only highlight or see child labor where it is, but to report it so that condign action can be taken. The government of Guyana is committed to ensuring our children are safe and protected, and as such, by extension, to ensuring that our children are not mired in child labor, and as such, to have that happen across the length and breadth of our country, there is that framework that exists within the legislation, beyond the legislation, and within ministries across the country to identify, to also act against, and to report, and to have in that reporting action taken against perpetrators. Ghana has ratified key international labor organization conventions that guard against child labor and has developed a national plan of action geared at eliminating the scourge completely by the year 2025. This is in keeping with the International Labor Organization, ILO, and United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF, push to end child labor. Child labor is a crime. Why rob children of an education and a good future? The elimination of child labor in all its forms is imperative and certainly a top priority for the Ministry of Labor and of course, the government. The development and implementation of the national policy towards the elimination of child labor, which is geared towards addressing the harmful consequences of child labor on the nation's children, and its limiting effects on national development and the National Action Plan for the Elimination of Child Labor are clear indications of the Ministry's commitment to end child labor. Our legislative framework is adequate. The abolition of child labor and providing opportunities for education is essential for developing the country. Throughout this year, to raise awareness on the issues and the effects children can experience from child labor, the Ministry of Labor will be hosting a series of activities, including visits to schools. Reporting for the newsroom, Shardabakas.